you should never EQ a track in solo because not only do you need to hear the frequency relationship and the space this track is taking up inside the whole mix, but you need also to be able to hear the phase relationships. And you would be surprised that usually in the mid range, when you feel that something is muddy, that there are some frequency clashing, well, sometimes, even quite a lot of times, what you can achieve by doing some EQ with classical bells or cuts is something that you can achieve with an old pass filter. To illustrate this, here is uh, another example. I have a kick bass playing together. And in the original mix, I felt there was some muddiness in the uh, low mid, uh, in the low low mid at 111 hertz. Let me play you just that bell turned on by minus two decibels. You, you, you feel how it's tightening up the low end? It feels like more compact, more punchy. Well, what I did for the sake of the exercise here is I opened this project again and I put a Pro Q4 with an old pass filter and I moved my filter around and I moved around until finding something. Let's play this one with, without the filter. So I'm not saying it's the same, but we get in the kind of similar type of ballpark, right? We, we get that more compact sound, that more working together. This is a good example of the effect of phase and what we are actually used to here in EQing as thinking it's only frequency dependent. Well, we realize now that it's not only the frequency, but it's also the phase we are hearing when we EQ things. And the kind of weird sounding mushiness that we, that we understand as a collapsing of too much information is often the result of differences in phase relationship messing up that area and that actually we just need to tilt one or the other to bring back cohesiveness and consistency in phase to get something that sounds better without altering the loudness of the, uh, the frequency without changing the tonal balance so Maybe next time you feel your mix is muddy, instead of EQing that bass a bit more, try to put an all-pass filter in that frequency area and you would be surprised by the result it is producing.